What's up, everybody? I'm Mr. Glasgow. This is Mr. Glasgow TV. Welcome. It's actually Friday, uh, March 22nd, 2019, and we're going to continue to play more Satisfactory because I'm addicted to this game. I'd be playing it anyways, so might as well stream it um, so I don't feel guilty. <laughs> guilty about making progress and figuring out neat things. Um, even though sometimes figuring it out is actually the long, hard, and grindy part. Um, I just want to show off like some of the stuff that I did. But who else? Maybe you know we can on the fly figure out something um, like I did with the storage yesterday. I thought I I figured out this cool new configuration for storage, but then after I got offline, I kept playing, and then I figured out a different one that I can actually scale a lot better. So. Let's get down to business. Hope everyone's been having a good week. So this is now my fulfillment center. Wait, what's all this? Oh wait, yeah. I was at the other end. You can see it's a lot more compact. <clears throat> and it actually fits on a, the configuration fits on a three by three and can actually share space with the next three by three configuration. So it's pretty, it's pretty compact and it can scale pretty much infinitely upwards. Um, I mean, I might have to manually switch or figure out something with how to connect because these, these three are all one, might as well be considered one big kind of storage thing. So this is plates ready to be put on an, an assembly line. Um, it would come in from here. I guess I could just like run this out to something to connect it to this one and then keep scaling up. And the trick, for those who might know or might be playing this game and are wondering how I got this like this, the trick is actually these. Now, if I wanted to extend this up another level, I would have to delete all these and then redo it from the fourth one all the way down. But I feel like that's a small price to pay for the amount of storage you're packing into one space. Mind you, these are still stage one or tier one storage units. I haven't really, I haven't unlocked yet the, uh, the next stage, the next storage stage. And this is, pr it's all pretty simple. Just right at the edge of the thing, boom. It just works. There is special staggering necessary here, as you can see. That's to optimize how far back it is to this wall. And then I did the same thing out here with stacking these to get these these um, get these splitters working from the outside, so then I save space from the inside for running lines that'll go out the back of the factory or fulfillment center. So yeah, this part I was just gonna just do on my own, but I was like, you know what? Let's just stream it anyways. Uh, thought my last configuration was so oh, so clever. I forget what I kept what I was thinking about. This is the only tricky one because. already 
have the pipes in it. That's how it works. Can I? Oh yeah. I guess I can show you also. So this was everything's at a standstill. It's very bad, <laughs> very bad on my part. Um, one other thing I built. This was actually a nice little area. <clears throat> I have four of the new foundries. I just got access to this for steel or uh, yeah, steel ingot production. So if you feed coal and iron ore into it. So I have four of them in this nice little configuration from our coal that's coming in from off-site and being delivered by a truck. And so what I did was the redundant lines that I did have running back into itself actually serves a better purpose as the lines going to the foundry. That, that just worked out. I didn't plan that. That was a happy accident. So. So yeah, they were coming out of here and going back into itself to try to buff, make this a buffer of storage just in case production ramps up for whatever reason and starts taking it, hitting the uh, supply. And then these are also Mark II mining units. What else? So this is the constructor area for iron, right? Uh, two for sheets, two for rods, and that was it. This next level is new. And this long stairwell. Still no power lines clipping through walls for now. I may eventually, but I'm trying to avoid it just for authenticity. I mean, mind you, some things what is it? Some things like these splitters are floating. Floating? Even though the conveyor belts are kind of... I kind of I kind of lump them in with the conveyor belt as part of the conveyor belt, so I, I feel like they should kind of be able to float the same way that the conveyor belts kind of just float. But, uh... Ingots, ingots from... My new ingot, ingots factory or foundry. They get split here, then they get split again. I have four in total. And then just like downstairs, uh, I guess the equivalent of rods, which is pipes instead. And then I beam, steel I beams as opposed to iron plates. And then they all merge together on this track and once I get this fulfillment center completed I'll start feeding in everything and everything will start ramping up production because I think even the miners you know the miners are at a standstill the truck is still you can see him on the compass here he is still running coal uh, All right, what am I? Let's just finish, let's get this finished. I actually had this finished, finished, but I didn't realize that these can share one of the tiles, so they were more spaced out than necessary. So I deleted everything and then packed it in tight so I can, so. That's what it is. It is what it is. What's up, Pratik? Hope 
hope you have having a good hope you had a good week. Hope everybody had a good week. See if we can speed build this. Oh yeah, that's all right, but that's fine. I need a summon. I like how there's barely enough space, and like there's barely enough space to go in between, and barely enough space to climb these. It's like the most optimized use of space. I love it. <laughs> It's like, oh yes, optimized use of space. My factory is so optimized and productive. Don't need this. Okay. Let's I go. Away. Yeah. Production merger. Mer merger. 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 That is back way out. Let's check alignment. Looks good. Gonna look nutty. And even the even the conveyor belts out here that I got kind of just all over the place out here. I want there to be more rhyme and reason to it than just like that. right now that's just purely functional get to where it needs to go. <laughs> get to where it needs to go. But I want them kind of like zigzagging and more compact and um, consolidated. I think it's the best way of how I want them. Yeah. And these new jumper leg attachments, these leg upgrades for jumping and stuff, essential. Being able to move around. I wonder if there's a there's um, maps with heavy gravity, or like eh, like you have zero jump. That'd be kind of an interesting thing to fight. Have to fight against. Like even if you eventually get rocket rockets or whatever. It still it uses more rocket fuel or something. That'd be kind of cool. Hard mode. Let me just make sure all these arrows are facing the right direction. These, I want to say the storage units can be replaced. Like if something was wrong with one of them, I could swap them out. But all this up here. All, all the all the conveyor belts and these mergers 
and splitters would need to be d redone in one little localized group. Just by, by the way, I'm, I'm assembling it. And I saw a tweet by the devs. They said that they're getting, I think there's an update coming or update that came and it's going to be like, fixing issues that's been reported I don't I don't think I've had it like knock on wood I don't think I've had any real issues that I could think of other than I got stuck in a tree I do remember that an animal hit me into a tree and I was stuck I had to load I tried to build, a, build myself out of it. I tried to, I didn't have a chainsaw on me so I couldn't cut down the tree. That probably would've been the you know, easiest solution. But uh, nothing game breaking so far. A uh, small thing would be maybe I was at one of the um, hubs for building stuff and I, I took stuff out of my inventory and I think I just deleted it as opposed to placing a stack on the ground. I just accepted it because it was a funny place. I was in a funny place to put it. I wasn't just like standing out in the open. I was in a, me I was in a menu. Like, even the sound effect, it wasn't the, the delete sound effect, it was just nothing. Which, in my mind, tells me I should just not do that again. It wasn't anything, it was like cement. I feel like in my mind, I, I'm actually playing it fairly carefully with how I do things. The only thing that I think might mess up is doing what I'm doing here. If they have an update where they're like, okay, guys, uh, if you have any f structures that require support and they're not supported, yeah, they're falling. They're going to induce stress on the parts that they're connected to and they're, they're going to fall. I still think that maybe you should be able to place these on the conveyor belt racks. Or maybe there's a rack for, maybe they already have something down the road where it's called like a uh, merger splitter rack. And that would be pretty sweet. So this is like, it's like Zen gardening. And the middle one. Trying to figure out the best way to snap, assemble it. Okay. Ah, I had the rhythm. Oh, oh this is the uh Concrete storage. I love it. I love it. There's only three things. Uh, copper wires are still over there. Um, so the inside is finished and we have so much space. We have so much space to put this down to a... To a main belt, to a merger belt down here in the center. And then funnel it out. Or maybe the mergers won't be inside. I'll just have, oh, I could just do that now even. How do you put storage on top of storage? Storage just goes on top of, on top of storage. It just works. It just works. That's how you do it. The real question you're trying to ask is how do I get these mergers 
you never tried. Yep, I, d I didn't know, I didn't really know it either until it happened. I was like, oh, that's convenient. I like, did I get an upgrade for that? It's like, you never, you never think to try it, but yeah, it's, it just works. The real question is, how do I get these to stack? And that's with these. That's the question. That's the pro tip. My pro tip for the day. Until so, until an update comes around and it breaks this. Um, oh god, I'm not gonna make it. Ah! <laughs> I didn't run before jumping. Uh. So, wait, what is the... There's a specific way I have to do this. The good thing is that once you get it done once, as long as you line everything up, then you just follow the the guideline. So it needs to be there, and it needs to be there. The split comes from the back. I do that. And then it's just enough, like I tested it over and over to make sure I get it as close as the wall as possible. And this is as close as, this is as close as gets. Wait, what's, what's going on? <laughs> Game? Oh. I guess you have to start from the direction it's coming from. This is as close as it get for this one to work. Any one notch closer and it doesn't work, so it's as close as it gets. And then this is as close as it gets. Um, oh god. This is as close as this gets for this to work. That's why this is notched back one notch. So this is the most optimized configuration of this where you have I don't I guess you don't need a wall. I like the wall because it separates, you know, the kind of the inside interior where storage is happening and mergers are throwing things onto an individual production line versus the exterior where I can work on it separately without having to mess up what's on the inside. So it's it's good. I feel like to have it separated like that. And then that is how you float that. And then you put another one underneath. But yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm trying to speed build. So the thing about these, though, in this notch, it looks like you should be able to just climb these stairs or this ladder. I don't like to do it too often because I'm afraid to get stuck. But uh, unfortunately, you can't. But these work fine. So. And to, to keep this going up indefinitely, you will, you would have to destroy everything and redo this whole stack but i feel like that's a price i'd be willing to pay to ha for this configuration ideally they're they come up with a system that lets you stack these or maybe they do have one and i'm just like cheating <laughs> i'm like i've worked around it why isn't it Showing me the guideline. I guess there's a limit to how far the guidelines can go. I guess that makes sense. Oh. Otherwise, you'd have guidelines coming from across the map. <laughs> that number one, first, ah, God dang it. first and foremost, would prove that this is a flat, flat planet. <laughs> But number two, it would uh, it just be lines, lines everywhere. How about I just do it from a distance? How about that? Huh? Yeah. 
litter. What's nice about this location is the view. It would be cool, like this is cool, right? It would be cool if there was like also like a herd of like those walking things that come that just come rolling through. That'd be pretty sweet. I'd be like, hey, that's pretty sweet. And I feel like they should make a splitter that is three prong facing one way and one kind of like, um, like for an outlet power outlet they have I feel like that's the standard kind of configuration where you have the plug into the wall and then three plugs facing outward like this this configuration I feel like is probably the most flexible so I, it's fine you just do this but uh, oh god I'm not gonna make that but, uh, wouldn't hurt to have another I mean, it would hurt the programmer that has to sit there and be like, Yeah, dang it. No one's ever satisfied. Nope. Shasha! Oh, yeah. down and get your building on. Satisfactory. Oh, so satisfied. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to get... <laughs> we're going to get the hang of this one day. It's nice to be able to uh, slow your momentum down in midair by some machination of anti physics. Probably be a lot easier if I also had the jetpack and stuff. But, uh, the ones that I just constructed are facing the right direction, here, right? Let's say yes. Luckily, I could jump from here. But Stand up. I say, don't stand in the way of this thing. Death by decapitation by conveyor belt. Um, I feel like is a common, it's like the number one means of death for a worker such as myself. Like they said, I want to say they said two out of five workers uh, for New York skyscrapers and either ended up dead or disabled back in the day where they did, they climbed by hand on high beams and uh you know, did everything by hand without safety harnesses. I feel like conveyor belt decapitations <laughs> is what is the reality for this guy. And his, just check the arrows. This guy and his job title. Oh, 
hear it. Oh man, this is gonna be so sweet if I get this. If I get this storage, if I get this fulfillment center that high, and I could just look across and it's just flying right there. Oh. Unless it gets hostile. I feel like there's a threshold maybe of where the nature, the natural balance reaches its, its tipping point and then they come after you. I feel like that should be a thing. If it's not a thing, it should be a thing. Like you're, the more you build, there's like a hidden calculator of aggro that you're, you're building with the local local plant and animal life. And once you cross a certain threshold, then you have to start building defense turrets. <laughs> and uh, hiring bodyguards paramilitary not a thing but you know kind of cool I just had a thought too of like a mod could maybe do something like that but then I don't remember it also that this is a multiplayer so I wonder if there'll be like multiplayer versus where it's like, you know, race to, I don't know. There's not really a currency. There should be like either a point system, kind of like, you know, every time you deliver a successful fulfillment of the, I uh, almost jumped to my death. Every time you deliver a successful fulfillment to the space elevator, you get like, you know, Point, point ranking system based on how fast you did it. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> how fast you got to it. And you can kind of compete to say who can make the most money, so to speak. You can fight each other. <laughs> I can make a battle royale around the around the elevator. Not really. It's gonna be terrible. It's got our ass. This abomination onto the landscape. So you can see. See how it's like straight and then it starts to actually slant down. So I feel like it's not a true equivalent. Like when you place it on the ground, it's not up to the, uh, up to the window. Actually, I guess they all kind of do that because then it, all the foundations shouldn't gradually Decay the angle. Okay. Just gotta make these connections. Then we gotta make all of these. I guess the poor ones are feeding this. So we can start up the production to start stockpiling stuff. The only thing I currently have stockpiled is what's on the conveyor belts and in the holding, outbound holding right now. Which isn't good. Not great. Because once production starts kicking in gear, it's going to be slowed by. Well, I guess it wouldn't be slow necessarily. It's probably an acronym or something like always be producing. 
ABP. Right now we're not. It would really be cool if this becomes like a standard. Mr. Glasgow discovered the standard storage configuration that we use to this day. This is like 10 years from now. <laughs> he was a legend of his time. Oh, good thing there wasn't a cliff there. Excuse me? Pardon? Oh, ben et moi? Uh, hello? Is this facing the right way? Oh. Game, you scared me there. <laughs> I was like, what did I do wrong? Ran out of materials. When you're building at this scale, that happens a lot more frequently than you might think. But uh, I, I, I got freaked out. I was like, oh God, something isn't aligned. <laughs> There's a misalignment that I'm gonna troubleshoot and trace and track down to a fault in the entire configuration of this thing. I would just end my stream. <laughs> like, well, uh, it was fun while I, I tried, guys, but... I guess... I guess I'm a failure. You guys thought it too, you're like, oh. <laughs> You done messed up. You done messed up now, A.A. Ron. My, my, I think my next biggest concern since I've over-designed storage, I've over-designed kind of sort of production, is once I over-design manufacturing, like this, this is a raw materials production, early raw materials production on this end, and then as it comes to like manufacturing assembly and production, the, those factories that are gonna go up like four, six, eight at a time, that's going to hit my power hard. Luckily, we have yet to upgrade the mining, the coal miner there, which will then ramp up. I can upgrade the coal mine there. I can upgrade the conveyor belts there. And I can add like at least four more power stations. So I'm wondering if I do actually do that before I do manufacturing. I kind of want to work on manufacturing though so I can get move this elevator. But, uh, I think we're done. This is actually a good saving spot. I didn't take as long as I originally thought. I mean, we've been up for 40, 41 minutes, so, you know, it's not nothing. <coughs> so let's get... Let's get uh, you move the thing. It's backwards. 
buckles. The buckles. Store all. Except for this, apparently. This way we can move everything in here. Also ladders, like these kind of act as ladders, impromptu ladders. I feel like ladders, being able to uh, being able to uh, build a ladder just randomly. I guess it would be a only thing I guess would be hard to figure out is like, is it just a ladder that just goes like straight up? <laughs> Magically balances. I guess it could be like an upside down T. Or you have to decide the angle if you lean it on something, which I think would probably require a lot more. Where am I going? Go, man, go. Like, even if you had it so that you can build a, a triangle ladder that has a set angle, I don't think, other than these ramps, I'm not sure how they would make it work, whether they whether you latch on. Like, here, I can't, I can't strike side to side. But on these, I can strike side to side. So, like, would a triangle ladder let you strife? Or lock you in, and then how does it calculate that angle? Because making a player make player go up seems like a pretty straightforward, you know, command. Versus make them go at this angle and lock them in. I kind of understand them not wanting to have. Unless it may be a step stool? Maybe a step stool where it's like. It's like a Tetris piece. Or it has a notch. So you could be like, boop, boop, boop. And you could kind of make impromptu steps. What if you stack these? You can't. Uh, once again, why am I here? Y'all come in with me. Technically, I could shoot that from all the way over here. Me running back and forth is just a force of habit. <laughs> I could literally just play. Oop. Um. Store all. Take that. Here, there, um, so the thing is, since these are almost full, this is the part where I wish I had a way So it actually has one input, and then these feed each other upward. The thing is, there's no space in between. Maybe that's what the space in between could have been used for if I kept the space in between. Should I have? Should I have? Because it would basically work like this. Iron plates. Basically, this would come out here, go through 
one of these. And then go up to this. And also another one. Another one would go to this. So on and so forth. So I may have... We'll see. May have to redo everything. <laughs> May have to redo everything one last time. I won't do it today, though. This will just have to suffice. But don't be surprised if one day you check back and I come back here and it's like, hey, that's different. Let's see if it even works. Theory craft this real quick. Uh, it would be this, this single player for me. Yeah, it's it's a multiplayer game, and I wouldn't. I'm not interested in multiplayer right now because I'm such a control freak. Oh. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is what I should have done. Hold up, hold up. Hey, wait, wait. Uh, hold up. One sec. Uno momento, por favor. Let's see. I would standardize this so it's something that can be replicated without too much hassle. So only on the Lego bot, <laughs> only on the Lego parts, equidistant in the corner. You put this, go between it, and of course, hold on, that was a test, one notch in, okay, of course. Two notches. Okay, maybe we place this a notch down. Bam. This. Here. Oh. Oh, good. Oh. Good. So this one would actually hit some kind of ramp and go down to the eventual production line. But basically, you can already see it working. These would constantly... Oh, wait, I didn't connect this one. It would feed itself upward in perpetuity. Dang it. So based on how this needs to be... Yeah. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have let them share this spot. For fun, though. For today. For now. I will. I will write this wrong. So you start in the corner. 
down one notch. Cool. Correct facing walls are thing now. I mean, technically, technically this is actually wrong. It should go top down so that this, so that the bottom one is the one, so I don't have to deal with it, the ramp coming down at such a steep angle. So it's actually... Top one will be receiving that. And from here, it goes down. To this. This goes around to this. It's not as sexy looking, I guess. Unless... It's gotta look good. I like that angle. This might sexify it a little bit here. And they were touching. Oh, yeah. It's gotta look... This one goes should be two. How come that one looks less stacked up than this one? Do I need to do this? This isn't necessary to be solid or have a hole. So clean. I mean, get this. But uh, that leaves all this room in between for activities. <laughs> Oh, there's so much room for activities in between. So this is configuration 2.7. Uh, 2.75. Officially. I challenge you to find a better configuration that can scale. The only thing, the only thing about this, the scalability of this is, you, in order to stack another rack, you'd have to destroy all these, put up foundations, and reconstruct them from top and bottom. That's the only setback. The only, the alternative is to just start insanely high and expand downward, which 
It would actually be pretty cool if you could dig, which isn't... Usually you could tell if a game has voxels that are customizable. Voxel landscape that's customizable. The way some of these mountains are designed, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I'm going out on a limb and say you can't dig in this game. Um, well, that's uh, my take. This is sheets. Why are there two sheets? Okay, I think one's incoming, one's outgoing. So bottom one's ingoing. Uh... Sorry for interrupting. Oh. This is a reminder for Alexa. you to take a break. Stop. No, not today. <laughs> not today, Alexa. Not today. Oh, you hear the production? Production's on. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Alexa, stop. Stop listening. Okay? Chill. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Would you guys hate me if I redid it? Technically. Technically, I could put this one here, and then this one, just demolish this, since this has nothing in it, and this has nothing in it, and then do like, do it in pairs. Basically have this configuration going here. I think we do that. That's the compromise. Let's try it. Sorry. Sorry, brand new construction. We didn't even get to be used for storage. Remember me. Watch now. Blah. Well said. Yeah, if I were to be deserted on a planet doomed to live out the rest of my life to production for some corporation, I would definitely go insane and I would talk to everything. Like full out conversations. Kind of like now. <clears throat> so the question is, let's let's do a hypothetical. Like ideally I just do this, right? Kind of simplify it to make it work. But in a perfect world, one can be here. And uh, the next one will go here. Which means this can go over one more. I just, do I just suck it up and have this empty, useless, <laughs> empty, useless, actually, you know what, this is actually, this might not be a bad thing. And I say that because of this. Eventually we'll have, we'll have multiple lines. This might need a splitter because two things require... Um, 
rods and it might need to be split again. And so instead of having a warehouse floor, just like rife with all these things, I can do all that here and have it shoot out the side through conveyor belts. Yes, yes. Now we're thinking smart, smarter. So these two have all enough space for configurations to be figured out here on the floor and then sent out or sent out straight up and then configure out configured splits on the outside. These two would have their two windows on this side and then so on and so forth. The funny thing is that was less about me being creative about the situation and me trying to just rectify <laughs> not having to redo all this work. They say necessity is the mother of invention. Is that, is that how it goes? I don't know. How either invention or uh, creativity or I don't know basically the necessity to need to do something gives you gives people the mojo to create a solution right but sometimes you the stub stubbornness if, that, if that's the mother of invention I feel like stubbornness and like mental gymnastics of trying to justify <laughs> justify your error can also be a motivating factor in uh, it's like I'm going to use the, oh wait, I did the wrong, I don't need this. Technically, like I said, I could Because this one doesn't use this because it goes from the top down. This one goes out to this one. This one goes out to this one. And then you have this. So I can have this to a splitter that sends one out here. Another one going out there. So there's just... I'll leave this blank. Or even put a port so I know it's the thing. Because in my mind, I'll be like, why is this here? Oh, yeah, because I can use it. Because <laughs> it'd be hard, it'd be so hard to try to anticipate all these things. Like, even, I can even do a triple. There's no telling how many, how many things will need plates, rods, this. There's no amount. Possibilities that limits what needs to, what could be done here. It could be three, 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 like just tons of conveyor belts exiting stage here. Once again, I'm still still justifying it in my mind that this is this should this is the correct play as opposed to having all of the conveyor belts go down a big hall and out the back because that does seem kind of that does seem like it has its flaws in its in its description of the fact that it could be everything um this will be a long factory though
So I feel like I feel like before we reach this cliff, there will be there'll need to be an eventual step up, and then we'll just keep going, just just keep going, keep it going. Actually, let's keep these blank. Since I don't know what's going to be down here yet. For plates and rods, I feel like it's a given that they're going to need something almost immediately for basic screwdrivers. Rods get used like crazy for sc or screwdrivers. Screws. Concrete, not so much. Wires, not so much. Okay. Okay, we ready? Ready for these. Um equidistant. Gonna knock back. Right? The thing about snap you can replicate your designs on this like imagine doing this on grass oh <laughs> uh, this thing would look crazy I had to guess which one of these are going to fill up first. It's definitely going to be wires, concrete. Unless they miraculously get some kind of recipe that puts all the demand in it on them. Or if I start building like crazy, if I start building like crazy, I can use up a lot of the concrete. But there's really nothing I can do that's going to use a lot of wire. If I run power lines, I guess. Like a crazy person. <laughs> like, uh, like if I make my own custom kind of like transformer station where everything's kind of consolidated, all the power lines are routed nice and neat, not as need be. Kev, thanks for the raid with five. Appreciate it. Your race going well. Welcome, Raiders. Oops, that's wrong. We're just Zen gardening it up with uh, conveyor belts here. So, in short. Wherever, whatever I'm storing in these, going through the top, be fed down to this one, be fed down to this one, for a total of nine storage containers. Should be enough for now. Should be enough for now. You. Yeah, welcome. This is satisfactory. The name kind of explains it all. This game is very satisfying if you're building 
factory. I'm doing all the things. Looks good, feels good. So far, no real hiccups or issues. You can see like the click the stream, thanks. Appreciate it again. Thanks for rating. Um, what am I? You see how the graphics kind of like. It reminds me of um, city skylines. I want to say, where you can like zoom down into the the people, but in actuality, it's just like really simplified animations from a distance. Which is fine. I mean, it'd be insane if they didn't do something about render distance and stuff. Okay. So, copper wire. This one? Yes. Your concrete? Yes. You shall coppers over here, if I'm correct. Do I do I straighten this up now, or do we do that later? I think we do that later. That's a whole other beast to tame. So copper and these nine. Um, I wonder if I can reach that. I'll be impressed. If you can do it, I believe. Is it red? What's it say? It's too long. You're too long. I feel like the angle here is too weird. So I'm actually gonna do this. Uh, da, 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 da. What are we gonna do? I can even make it up going up gradually, cut, like making a one intermediate. One here, or I can make it go under and then kind of almost straight shot it actually. Let's do that. Let's gauge something like that. Should be one more. No, that should be fine. You come cometh hither. Go with a bearer. Continue on it. Fulfill your destiny. And then this one. Let's get cozy up. Consolidation for consolidation raisins. And we're gonna take you. We're gonna fish you through here. <laughs> oh man, these, these conveyor belts. I love it. I love how crazy these things are already getting. Go there. Somewhere to go to. Eh. Eh. God dang it. Uh. Ladders. Pro tip. Ladders are on everything. Climb them. Get better vantage points. There. I'd be impressed if it doesn't look crazy. Okay. 
obscure the view for a bit. <laughs> the majestic butterfly sting wraith flying thingy. Flew boy. My factory. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, am I doing? You know what I should do for corners like this? Because this is coming at a weird angle, I should actually do like. My photo mode. <laughs> I should do one. I should do them like this. I should pair them at the corners of buildings. Pardonnez-moi. And then make them turn like this. Or. Like. This. So it has a nice letter, nicer angle of attack. And then probably. It's all about uniformity, right? So it's like standardize this where these line up with one of these so they can be bypassed. I can only stand over here. Let's see. Directly behind me. Okay. Like I could put down a foundation for uniformity. But I feel like, unless this is hanging off the cliff. Yeah, we'll put down the foundation. I just have thought if I wanted to redo this, I would need to destroy this too. But I guess that's a negligible cost. Cost of doing business. Even has the line. I to still be hanging off. Dang it! We're fine. This is fine. Is that tall enough? Can't tell. So it's still cutting through. Whatever, it's fine. I still think this little thing I, I was just trying to describe where you they have it so that something can turn the corner and something can keep going straight and without it looking crazy. This is still turning a corner. It was just, I guess, a thought. What is that? Are those two conveyor boats spaced appropriately? Ah! Boom. So now we got um, we 
do rods, high beams, iron. Standardize a distance, like I said, so that if I have to customize or redo this, they're far enough away from this. process yes yes so I guess I could close this maybe make a door and a ramp so I can access and get into it from that point. I kind of like the visibility so you can appreciate the things, but also the walls so you know where the walls should be. So production's back in full swing, full-ish. Um, Everything that can be constructed, I think. No, actually, no, that's not true. So we have storage, we have storage. We have storage, we have storage. Storage, storage. So we probably should have cable. we store cable I'm gonna have my own little biomass park for biofuel over here I'm trapped by my own conveyor belts is our coal how's coal looking on the move now, so it was looks like it was starting to stockpile. Um, it's kind of crammed into this corner here, but it could be opened up. Because we need... What do we need? Um... Uh, I guess first and foremost is this, because we need to get this out of here. 150 motors. Let's work on that. Let's look at our power, actually. Power. We're spiking up to about half of what our capacity. I feel like once I construct our assembly stuff, that's going to be a problem. But, motor. We need a rotor stator. 
Do I store all these? I question cable, right? But then it's also a rotor, modular frame. I should actually do those. Like, rotor and modular frame look like they pop up a lot in some of the newer stuff. Not necessarily cable, unless we're thinking about like wiring our enti this entire planet. Oh man, it's not necessary. Color cartridge, not necessary. Uh, never storing ingots because they should go straight into production into this stuff. Quick wire, don't have any main source of it yet, so not yet. Storing high beams, so we just need one, two. Oh god, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, seven more storage stacks. Seven more storage stacks. Right now we have two available, so five more. Unless I make storage stack light for what comes out of production versus the main storage stacks, which deals with the raw material that makes the bigger stuff that goes in, go into assemblers. Or I just do it all. Or like I do a nine and then I go upstairs and then another nine. So the, this is maybe one is locked in at nine. I feel like the exponentially smart play is to um, is to uh, um, uh, make this go on indefinitely. have all everything every single thing be able to be stored like screwdrivers i guess they can round the number up to uh the fact that we need six more i think we have to do this for terrain reasons Say. Also, a good reason to have a big gap in between paired units. You have space for this, you don't have to worry about clearances. Further justifying the configuration. Don't you just love it? when a plan comes together. Or don't you just love it rather when something that you didn't ever plan for actually ends up working out? <laughs> I feel like that's the MVP quote of the day. I feel like we're gonna still run into land. Eminent domain. Forest. Put it in the hole. That's what she said. Um, uh, so how is this? It's three by three? For one, let's share one. So it's actually five, five, 
and then the space in between. So this space, space in between, so we need five across. Then another ramp. Yeah. To get up to this level. Is that enough? Nope. It is not. Unless this is five. One, two, three, four, five. So close. <laughs> so close. If I only built this one smidget more that way all right tear it all down tear it down guys we're starting over no we'll just do this bit of an inconvenience yeah but uh wait a minute we float in one corner? I wouldn't want to. I was thinking of just doing this. And five. Our five, and then we get free rain to go into the b valley beyond. Anybody ever see Storks? <laughs> the animated movie? I'm gonna make that's how this thing is gonna look. It's gonna be like a giant shipping container on top of one mountain, on top of a mountain. gonna shy on the foundation. You're gonna be true unless you know what we could do. And this is just for cheeky fun. Secret <laughs> um, downstairs. For what reason? For absolutely no reason whatsoever. Why? Why am I making a bunker? Why am I doing this? <laughs> what is wrong? Who hurt me? This is where we'll keep the prisoners. Okay. That's the dungeon. That's where we'll keep this thing. Once we capture it, this is where we'll do our experiments. Uh-oh. 
the grass gonna show through? Don't do it. Don't do it, grass. Nobody likes you poking through the foundation. You weren't invited. Um. I guess I could even. Go walls. Why am I? Uh oh. Wait. I had to do it like that to match these and not the miniature ones. That way, I really open it up. <laughs> open up our arbitrary bunker. Oh, you know what this could be? It could be a way to go out. Because this building will indefinitely extend out this way, so how do I get access to this without having to go outside and go around? The thought, the smarts on this guy, is what you're thinking. The sheer genius of it all. And you thought I was just a corporate guy trying to leech off the land. I mean, I, mean I am. There's still that. It would be cool. Having uh, trucks kind of come through a facility like this, making a facility where like vehicles actually utilize some of the uh, accessibility things. Um. Like an upside down triangle piece. It'd be nice to go right here. Rotate it the other way. Um. We live with this. I mean, it looks strong, right? I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I think we Wind it up to here. What's there be like actual need for this? It's going to be like legitimate. A need to build a bunker. Like I said, once the environment becomes hostile, even, even though that, as far as I know, things don't take damage. Structures, it doesn't have like a health meter.
yet. <clears throat> mm. Or this can actually have a functional purpose. I can put ports down here and have this be a sorting area where I have like mergers next to splitters next to more mergers and other splitters doing all the dirty work so that this factory just looks clean it's like how does he sort all this stuff? It's actually done in the sorting arena here. And then it goes out there. Oh, but wait. Yeah, it'll we'll mess, we'll mess up how the walls are staggered. I could still... make a... Uh, a door and kind of finagle from the outside. Oh, that's perfect. What are you? Are you kidding me, Rat Meow? Boom. Connect to the... Oh my goodness. I'm a frickin' genius! We'll see. We'll see how I do the sorting. The well, thing is... I mean, I guess I could do like... Also... Oh, they don't have a gate. Navigate this middle. I guess that would work. Something like that, something like that. Give the illusion of separation. And then uh, up top and bottom. And then just stack these on the outside. Oh wait, no, this isn't necessary. Because these would just come out just straight up. I think I'm going to do it. Underground sorting area. All right. And then... It'll be funny if it's, uh, if it's necessary that I, uh, actually, no, this is wrong. If like the sorting, if this isn't enough space, then it'll take more. I'll have um, conveyor belts all down here, all throughout the belt. Oh. You know what I should have done? I should have built this going across this mountain or this uh, valley. I could have built this going across the valley or across, not, or maybe, maybe even long ways. <laughs> and then have this valley be a impromptu basement and having this fly overhead until I build that tall and then it'll be awkward because it'll probably just clip through the building. It'll be epic if it smashes and destroys it instantly. Um, without even a thought, it doesn't even react. But yeah. Uh, 
next time I see a valley, that's what I'm doing. Like if I if I beat this beat this level, but if I like get to like an end game with this next map, I if even if I play this map again, I'm definitely finding a valley, putting platforms across it, building on top of it, expanding upward and below. It would look awesome. That would be pretty cool. Because then it would look, it look look so clean on the outside with everything just going in and then just lines coming out. No, with no reference to what's ha where the sorting's happening. Um, then, uh, one of these. Uh, I guess until here. Oh god, don't fall off. for these. All the same. Once again, it'd be nice to have an upside down triangle piece to go there. And then... We commence the jiggling. All right, nature. It's time. You knew this was coming. <laughs> Why? Hey, now. your leaves off my factory. So wait, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's up, Nick Valentine? Nash, hey. How goes the wasteland? me insane. Probably need some more concrete here. I wonder if there's lights. I saw my I have a 
headlamp, but... Give me more. Get great. Placement mechanism in this game is a little weird. <laughs> you can tell that it makes sense, but only like it's very particular of where you're hovering your mouse over. Like I'm hovering over this versus on the side versus on top. There's like certain sweet spot here. Built that nuke yet. No, no nuclear materials yet to report. Um, do we use this for shade? I feel like if we go, let's see if I can remember the layout. The layout configuration. I want to say this sits on the line perfectly. And then these are one notch. This sits on the line evenly. Right now. by one match, which gives me room to walk in between. This is make brick for you trees. Oh. <laughs> Suck it in trees. All right, you get to live for now. Um, uh, ah. We behold, beholdeth mine empire of productivity, bask in the glory. Curious to see if I can do this configuration off of memory of the layout. Everything should come out blue here. Yep. Like a glove. So I'm tempted to just focus on this side since that's the side the production's on and then expand to this side as opposed to expanding down this way with storage. Uh, I feel like that'd be the easiest, especially with dealing with 
uh, running lines to these, but... And I don't know. Boom. Right. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry, Alexa. Stop. I saw her. I saw her turn on before. <laughs> I saw her turn on. So before you even. Today is a bonus stream, and it's a. I feel like I'm free to go later than usual. Since it's the weekend. And I'd probably be playing it anyways. Rise! Rise, chicken. Chicken, arise. Aquatine Hunger Force fans. Haven't seen in a while. Here we go, we're going crazy here. Re okay, maybe not as re as I thought. What do we run out of materials? Lower it to the storage units. Let them, let them rods. <laughs> Sheets also okay. So now the question is do we build another bunker area through this? Because our bunk, oh no, we can't because I want to just drop out this bunker area. How deep is it? It's two. It's just the two. So it could be built off of this. I don't think this would look I guess I could do it this way. I don't like how it peaks up peaks like this. I feel like if you have a landing.
A ramp, a proper ramp should have a landing, in my opinion. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, no, we're I was about to say, oh, no, I have to deconstruct this. Everything's going to fall. It's not going to fall. Uh-oh. Bugs. Back up, bugs. Um... Build under, please. See, this one can actually be pretty big. Like, if that other sorting room isn't big enough, this one would be the one. I'm already calling it the sorting room. Be super sweet if it work work out like that. I wonder if a vehicle could fit through here. I can actually see. I don't know. I mean, I could always... Raise this up one? Wait, when do I hit the thing? Huh. Then that would mess up. I would have to make this go up even higher. Or at least half a notch. Yeah, I'm sticking with... Of uh, this one. doing this so fast it's hovering in midair um how wide do i have this one this one's double wide double wide Straight into it. Wait, what? Does the ramp drop off? No, the ramp. This is the landing. And then this, the ramp to wall. Up, oh, landing, ramp. So that stays like that. This was a weird tangent. <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna pay pay such dividends. It's gonna pay such dividends. The dividends will be huge. Right. 
right? Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> Why the tech? So it has to, or, or, your mini ramps here. So this. This way we open up this area. Normally I don't like putting walls, but I need these walls to act as references for if I when they replace when I whenever I replace them. Uh, since everything here is off stagger just by a little bit. Hey look. Some aesthetic. This area gets to have some aesthetic. Eh. at the end. Anyways. Just a wall into nothingness. Nobody cool here, actually? If I treat this like a support beam. There's a gap there. An ever so gentle gap. Eat some of the aesthetic up. Or no, we're in underneath. We're not inside. Um. I like it. Should we keep 
window to the egg outside world open. Dead mouse. What does this look like? Activities room. Okay. Why did I switch? Uh oh, I had to go resupply. And I came back very, very distracted. Yes. Oh, we messed on. <laughs> um, out of your wall. I could also. Oh wait, I might not be able to do this. It's mostly so I don't have to go out to the outside and go up. I could put one up the middle, but uh, as you can see, it's snapping to uh other side here. I can technically do this. So I don't have to run out to the outside and then go like this and then fall in. I can just go up the middle. Guardrails. <laughs> like I'm just running with my eyes closed. Like we um the thing about that is if I run lines in here, I'll take these out if it gets too crowded. But for now I feel like Oh you know what this will work? Oh man, everything is working out so well. I'm actually nervous that something's gonna go catastrophically wrong, like my game's gonna crash. And speaking of which, uh, this doesn't prevent the data from being somehow corrupted. Look, these line up to go in this way, anyways. Oh, wait, but then how do I get in there if those are going in that way? Oh, I'd get rid of these. Or I keep one, and since like if we go by rules of right side, driving on the, the right side of the road, I'll keep the one on the right where the left will be the one where I come up. And then because the conveyor belts will be in the way. Yeah. That's how I'm gonna justify that. I wish it could be in the middle. It's not in the cards. But I'll allow it. <laughs> it's funny because like everything else is so symmetrical, so uniform. And then this. Ugh. Might get rid of it. Who knows? It may trigger me. Alright, focus. If we eventually want actual production. Would that actually produce things one day? Yeah, I'm one of those one of those people who want it all facing the same direction. Which when you when you click when you snap it to the floor, it recognizes it one way, but when you snap it to a wall, you have to flip it. And then the one on top will be corrected. Just in case. Anybody was wondering. OK. 
Okay. Now we have to have at least five. What was the number? I want to say seven. Seven of these functional or able to be functional. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are the ones I have to get right. This is going to be unfor unforgiving. Yeah. Okay. Actually. Concrete. I never thought I'd be running out of you so frequently. Which is why I said it's only gonna really go away if I start building like crazy. I guess it makes sense looking at it from this perspective of if you're driving a car and the road's on the right side versus this way you don't need it. I can also make like a catwalk that goes out. Okay, focus. <laughs> focus. Stop. Daydreaming. Uh. Why are you red? Because I connected those very conveyor belts already. Which is weird, right? Because it's on the inside, so why is it interfering with the clearance on the outside? I guess a way I could have avoided that. Let me actually test this. Because rewiring rewiring the outside would be one thing, but rewiring both the outside and the inside? I feel like that'd be pretty much. So what if I put like a little ramp like this, okay? And then did to miss the clearance there. Then I would need one of these, one of these. I would still have the issue here. Oh. In one of these. It's so extra though. And then I would have to repeat that process if the if the belts were on the inside. Wait, no. Wait, what? No. Can you put it halfway? Yeah, like that. Like that. <laughs> so if these had the conveyor belts attached on the outside, I would skip the clearance issues by assembling it this way. These don't have it, so I'm free to do that. Jeez. On top, top, above it. See, so it's like not only where you place your mouse on it, but your angle that you're placing it. So right, right now I can't do top unless, since I can see the top, 
It's not going to let me place the top, except if I put my mouse on it. But if I can't see the top, it allows me to just get near the edge here. So if I keep it here, it's going to switch down. Pro strats. Pro tips, if you're wondering. Can I have these high enough? Just thought about it. Okay. And I guess I'll do the same here on the insides. Sorry. One extra. Hey. Oof. We've been streaming two and a half hours. I'm essentially working on this storage. <clears throat> but at least it's. We're producing, we're stockpiling now. At least we're doing that. Before my assembly lines were dead, dead to right stop. Which is not good. Splitter in from the back. Giggity. Giggity Guga. Confirm it works. Because it's snapping. But, uh. Those that are at a different elevation, but it's still snapping, which is nice. It's nice. Nice. I guess it would recognize that it. It's the same unit. It's supposed to be something arbitrary. Sometimes you get weird snap lines for things that shouldn't, you wouldn't imagine it needed to be snapped. <sighs> What's cool about these being so close, I don't have to jump here. I, just, I can just Super Mario it. <laughs> Sprint across and not fall down. <clears throat> no, don't even have to sprint. You just strife. Sweet. Hey. Blah. Do, 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 do. You know what? That'd be a nice one to have. I've been writing down things I want to get to add to my soundboard. Uh, time up. Mario. Hey man. I'm, merging. I'm just wiring it all now. Why even? Ah, oh, bad jump. Jay, when you jump first and then you press the direction you're going to <laughs> So then it's just like. Uh... I wish I was going that way. Whee! Oh, wait. The wrong way. Let's 
feels like I'm, or looks like I'm building so much storage for so many things. It's like, no, this is just 10 things. 10 things that I'm going to stockpile the crap out of. Okay. Seriously, okay. you need to shut Alexa. it down 30 more minutes. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I give, I give her I gave her the a little attitude to throw, uh to have with me if I stay on too long. It's only 1:30. Chill. Do this fast. Having a jetpack would be very handy. What am I doing? I'm just doing the tops. So that's where the stuff needs to go in. Uh. Since that's where the stuff needs to go anyways. I'll just do the tops and then I can expand the functionality downward later. That's not what I, that's not what's important. Especially these other these later higher tier items. I'm not gonna stackpile a bajillion things of let's just cut down doing that just cut down our this is about to be over <laughs> I'm framed to any minute now. A minute now, one of these final connections will be the final connection home. Connected. Oh, look at him. Hops. I can connect to that. Wait, what was it? Called? If these things required power, man, it would be such a draw. Power draw. Uh, 
Dang it. I'm losing track of, like, everything looks the same. Everything's so uniform and looks the same. I'm losing track of actually where I am. <laughs> it's like, am I on the upper level or the upper, upper level? I don't know. What's going on there? Excuse me, sir. Okay. This mergers. Okay. Final. Count off uh, splitters, backside, mergers, front side, this unit, mergers, this side, backside splitters, done areno, splitters, good, mergers, good, mergers. Good. Sweaters, good. Okay. Good time to save. Um. It's just silly. Uh. Uh, so I'm starting to get out there too. I don't want to get caught off guard by a monster thing. Okay. So we got... We got plates. We got rods. We got copper. We got concrete. We got Tubes, we got iron. Should this be cable? Or should this be one of the bigger ones? Reinforced steel, I'm thinking, actually. Reinforced steel. Then uh, the frame. I feel like cable could be one of these smaller ones until I figure out if I even need to. I won't bother with screws. First and foremost, okay. Okay, okay, okay. this list. This guy's running coal all day, running coal. Um, 150 of these. Would require assembler for th th these. Rotor and stator. Um, so that's an assembler for those. So let's get two assemblers for this. Two assemblers for this. The constructor for screws. So that's one constructor, 
four assemblers. And then two more assemblers for the motor. So six assemblers and a constructor. Six assemblers and a constructor. Six ensembles. This is gonna be a memorial if I have to build around it and build like doo 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 because I can't interact with this stuff. Six assemblers. So I wanted I want my assembly thing to be here. Or at least to rotate this. But what I could do. Pink, 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 I know this isn't a permanent node. Um, what if I... Make it level with this. Or maybe this level? I feel like this is the smarter level to make it level with. And then I just make all this one huge level. And then I can kind of live with what's going on with this. Maybe center it more. Like I said, turn it so that the console's facing my hub. And then the ports are facing kind of more this way. So here. I was trying to see if I want to make a route through here. Maybe I can make a one-way route through here. And then it returns by driving all the way around. Why I would have it driving over here anyways, once again, I don't know. You never know. Let's do this. We already have a clear route that it could, I could use if I need to go into this valley for whatever reason. So let us. Build around that. Foundation there, what are you doing? Authenticity. I were 
tractor. I needed to go this way. I would want these to be at this level. This is just me planning ahead for so I don't have to do this on the fly. If I can be like, oh I wish I would have done this here. I can just be doing it now. rock oops How about a slow slower ramp Descent. Does it fit? It would barely... Barely counts though, right? I don't know if that, I'm pretty sure that Intel in it, it would clip through anything. But it would be actually better if it was... Up. It comes here. What is it? Right over that rock. Stop. Go and turn out. Oh man. I should 
design cities. <laughs> I should design cities for a living. Concrete. say this should be separate from that building but the fact that I need to run across for building supplies maybe I keep it connected at least for now That piece when you can just have this piece. Come on. I guess I could have just ran underneath. <laughs> I went all the way around and jumped up. How about I could just ran up this ramp built for vehicles? For the sake of symmetry. Looks like your time has come. What's up, Tony? What's going on, bro? The other tree gets to stay. I'm doing well. I'm really enjoying this game. Found. Passion, passion project of sorts in what this game has. Hero. I feel like I'm gonna play that. This game has me hooked. I got a problem. I got a problem, and it's called this game. I got a fever. Don't. Oh, it came out today. Okay. Why don't? For what reason? For what reason do I don't? Yeah, why do I have a truck? <laughs> why do I have a truck? Right 
It's a pain. Like a good way, like a Dark Souls callback to Dark Souls days. It's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Should I? Hold on. Let me. Grab these. Need some since I apparently hurt myself some time ago. Just eat them all. Die, nature. Takes all the difficulty of Dark Souls and throws new combat and learning curve. This is Suffer Peasant. Yeah, it looks like it has a lot, it has like, what, shields and hook shots. The kind of magic that makes you turn invisible or something. It turns into a ghost. Oh. So you can kind of phase shift or whatever. Crazy with this. Well, that's good. As someone who is themselves hooked to a game, it's, it's a good feeling. Mine probably has a lot less frustration <laughs> involved. We have less, a lot less frustration tied to my my new game hooking me. That is the nature, the nature of the beast. I don't skip on foundation like this. Could be a hollow foundation, not me. It would actually benefit me if it was hollow, because if I wanted to expand into into the foundation to make little pocket rooms, it would already be hollowed out. random structure of randomness I am trying to make a flat area suppose you see that the area isn't all that flat so I'm flattening out flattening out a portion of it so I can build a uh, an assembly part I've been working on for the past almost three hours I've been working on this this is my storage storage solution for what my base factory is kind of producing as raw material for what this area is about to go utilize to get sent up the space elevator so let's see how am I liking this so far uh, we need six six assemblers and at least one constructor Put the constructors on these wings since they're smaller. And then put the try to see if I can fit six. 
So this is a good spot to have a... Lookout tower. So I can actually see what the... Well, Alexa! 30 minutes, right? Alexa, stop. <laughs> chill, Alexa, chill. She's trying to tell me to go to bed. Have her on a daily timer to keep me keep me from going too long, but tonight I'm like, no. Tonight is tonight is long night. Um what am I doing? So I need rotors. I need some of the stuff I'm trying to construct already for this. Uh, okay, so I need six of these. And at least one of those. So I need to make these. I have the cable. Need a reinforced place rotor. See, this is where everything in this list needs to be in my, my warehouse, basically. Um, as opposed to me saying, well, some of it's in there, but I need to make the rest. So let's see. Actually had a thought. That I, what if I assign two assemblers to everything that needs to be assembled and it sends it straight here for stockpiling? Ouch! Let's see, I have a truck. Where is it? Where did it go? Is it arriving? going. I thought I heard it. Oh yeah, it's over here. How'd I miss it? Oh, it's waiting. So I automated it. It follows these blue lines, or these blue arrows lines. It follows these blue arrows to these stations and it's delivering coal to me from my coal fired, my coal mine rather, and uh, it's powering those power plants that's wired all the way to here. Um, let's see. Modular frames requires a button of reinforced plates for 18. So, three. 54 54 reinforced plates 54 See so this is where Maybe I don't build the six <laughs> all at once Maybe I work my way up to it So I don't have to do all this manually Then keeping track of all that. Who wants to do that? Who wants to do that? Fifty four. That's the magic number we want for reinforced plates to go to. Imagine if you played this game and you didn't like the idea of automation. You wanted to do everything by hand, so you did. <laughs> and that would be insane. Which, I guess, uh, the fact that I'm trying to get six things, uh, six assemblers constructed by hand says a lot about how, that's how stubborn I am, but once we get them done, I can put all the burden on the assemblers.
Okay. And now I can make this, but now I need. Oh no. Wait. I should definitely just have. A bench over here. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Uh, crafting bench. With a view. Why can't I? Oh, not enough space in my inventory. Near, near, near. So we need 18 of these. And we need a rotor, which will be. A ton of screws and a ton of rods, but the rods are being made to use the screws, so I gotta be careful of the count. Should be fine. 24. And then three reinforced plates. Easy. It didn't take that long. Our screws. Boom. All checked. All checked out. There's probably Let me do this too. Um, I don't think I should do this. Because these will have doors. if it's gonna line up. Oh no, it's not, because it's in the center. It needs to be the, the one side or the other kind of door. Or, let's make it a big opening. Is there a right way for this to face?
Oh no, I'm being so particular about this. Actually... I like that there's, there's, there's clearance under here thus far, so we'll keep the clearance pretty high and do this. Perfect. So now we have access to the shop there, up here, even though, was, even though I'm trying to get to this. Oh my god. So easily sidetracked. <clears throat> okay. Production assembler. to the window perfectly. Yeah. Boom. I did that wrong. Probably should have started over here. Since I can't really progress move this over, but I can move the, all that over. So let's try it from here. Actually, wait. I'm thinking later. So we're gonna have two here, and I'm gonna have two here. But for our current project, I'm gonna put the three back here to feed into these two. So now the question is, how much space behind it do I want it to have? Just trying to line up the uh okay um a nice size in between it. I can literally put down um, foundation here. So my thinking here is I do eight total and then I can make an upstairs with another eight. And that should cover almost everything. 
And then the way I'll do it is whatever this elevator asks for, I'll have a line. I'll have six lines or whatever. Whatever needs to happen to I'll go here. And then I'll have a splitter that'll send one to here and then one to storage. One to here, one to storage. And then so over time as I'm producing stuff for this, I'm stockpiling it. That's late game though. But for now, I need to get everything into it so I can move it. Because I don't think I can move it while it's loaded with some of the load, the material. And uh, I have one more to place. Simla. Let's come from. Okay. It's interesting. So the question now is how do we want Just arbitrary. <laughs> Messing up the flow here. Uh, so we need least needs. Okay. Day's there. We'll have our Oops. instructor in the back here. Why is it, why is that there? Floor too steep. What are you talking about? What? Thank you. 
wanted to make sure the spacing was there. And that. Is that center on it? Yep. Okay. So I yield. We're making screws. some pipes this is here this will be screws for the rotor so it needs iron rods the rotor will then be split Why do I have six of th Why do I have this much? Assembler. A rotor. Screws through. I think this one's going to take a long time. Times three hammers versus times three hammers versus times three hammers. Where did I get confused? Unless. Letter. Too steep. What are you talking about, too steep? Are I get freaky? I don't know, it's because I'm high up. Like, even just go out. Encroaching wood entrance. 
Oh, it's just too close to this. These two. To make the rotors. Because I wanted to do this. Well, this. Why wouldn't I, I would have another one? Oh yeah, six. Duh. <laughs> Interesting. I said six, but I built five. You know what happened when I placed one and then picked it back up, it counted it still. It counted the initial placement of it. That's what I was confused about, okay. The construction splits to these. These make the something. And these go. Two for these, two for these, and then two for what eventually these create stuff for these. So now, these are just rods. So what else requires rods? Rotor requires rods and the screwdrivers. So we'll need, and then this requires rods just for screws. I keep calling screwdrivers. And then, so it'll need to be split once. the screw and then and again okay okay all right okay um splitter Let's do splitter once. Sp 
flip her once and then again and before I forget I actually want these to be higher tier mark twos Requires reinforced plates. Requires more screwdrivers. Screwdriver screws. I only wanted four. So let me assume that the next one wants more. So just a little bit longer. Mock two. Oh, I never made them. I made the screws for him. Maybe it is getting late. <laughs> Maybe I should pack it in soon. Once we get this started, I can I can literally be like, okay, I'm leaving the game on. Three more. Actually, no. I'll be moving hecka fast there. to see if this will work. Will I go right over or do I need a second tier? Looks like I need a second. Whoa, that thing's fast. Ugh. Okay. Boom. 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 Oh, I like the clearance. needs to go all the way for rods I think they're on this side or further down oh you know what I could do make what if I make walls all up here, and then that's where the sorting happens. So, like over here, here. Um. Thank you. 
wall. This will be one of these. Actually, this will be something else because we need other stuff too. Like. Of course, it's not that easy, is it? Of course, uh, unless I could. We do this. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, Can I jump there? I can. Okay. Actually, I gotta get ready to do producing. The thing is. We're gonna get to a point where power is Nick is gonna be the thing. I don't know where it's gonna be like oh power. We need wires too. Okay, this will work. There's so much crap on the screen, I can't tell where my mouse is pointed. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Oh, jeez. Now, what I said about li lifting these up higher is becoming more tedious. <laughs> These need to veer around these. Let's 
conveyor belts need to chill until I'm, I'm done. This is everything I dreamed it would be. Like outside is chaos. <laughs> when you're in this house, in this house we respect order. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of these. Look at this orchestra of stuff. I have four things ready to enter the sword pit. <laughs> so I need two. Yeah, technically I could do the split in here as opposed to up there where I did it. I think it just goes straight to the machine, but I feel like having it by the machine, especially since it's up there being temporary currently, is a... Uh, Batik, thanks. Yeah, like I'm enjoying this. You can know, you can tell. If you can't tell, like ah, it's just. And then when I have this side done too, the symmetry. I can walk in between it. Just there's just enough. <laughs> there's just enough space to walk in between these. So beautiful. I do worry that uh, I just lucked out that there's two things here. There's two things here. So they can't stack above each other because they have this system above it. But they can go side by side. So basically, they're paired up. They're paired up. And then the four of them can go in this configuration and this is this whole building here can be compartmentalized as one unit because it can't accommodate any more than the four and then the four and then up here technically it only has two before it enters the sort so it's kind of under optimized up here that's only because the terrain demands that it goes up again. But then I can optimize, I can thin this out and optimize this the same way that bot that first level is optimized. Oh. It's so beautiful. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to sort it here because my reason is. The factory floor should just be straight up factories. Stuff comes in to be processed and it goes out. So if a constructor needs to make screwdrivers, we should split it here. To go out. See, this is the... This is the risky, uh, fishy. This one's, this is gonna be the hard part. Figuring out how to sort in here. It's gonna be a little bit of a headache. Cause these splitters and mergers take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to go with this. This to that. Um, how 
Oh, did I want to do this? Can I go in? No, I can't go in. So this is... Optimize the spacing. Very precise. I just like I place this one correctly. Uh, splitter. Can't afford sheets. Like I could, I can also do the same thing here. I can already prime it. I have to make. No, that's the beauty of it. It was already there. It's already there for these. Wait, was it? How come this is different? Something's off? Oh, everything's perfectly symmetrical. It's different. Oh yeah, I can't afford it. Oh, it gets me every freaking time. <laughs> every freaking time. Like, oh no. This is bad. Something's off, guys. <laughs> Something's off. Boom. 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 Oh, wait. Two. Line these up. How come I can't line these up the same? Am I crazy? Maybe it's because I had these down already. Let's see. I think it nudges it over just a pinch. Just a hair. Oh. Beautiful. And we get this. The symmetry, the order. It's funny because now all these things have products, so it's 
Not as cool looking. Eight potential things coming to the sort pit. Guess I should make this. If up, if everything up there is uniform, I should make down here very uniform too. So let's try to center this on this square and see if we can stick with that uniformity. This needs to be rods. I think I just have to accept that this is going to be an ever-evolving room based on how needs change. to like don't snap to it oh, okay it's only be done in threes so if you get too close it snaps Yeah, put these down first. There we go, that might do the trick. So let's find the middle, maybe, of this. as snug as possible. Actually, I need to go out there and do that. Weird how this one makes you click twice. Wait, no. Oh, 
feel like it needs to come in. Elevated. Well, the other one's gonna come in elevated. This thing needs to be re-elevated. I'm going to get something to this side. I mean, I have more wall. <laughs> I am kind of forcing this when I have another, a whole other wall. All these other walls to really do this with. What are we like looking for? I know we need the copper wire. Um, what else do we need? Motor. Rotor. Spatter. Spatter needs pipe. Wire order needs iron rod screws. So I need this one, which is going to be awkward because the clearance is going to be tight. Let's see what this clearance looks like. Like scrape. Wait for that a little bit, though. Say rods they come here as well as up there. Right. Why don't you replace? So rods, uh, no wait, yeah rods, rods, rods. So I need three. If I split it down there? Oh wait, right here. That actually solves an issue. 
what to do with this extra one. And the answer is this. We're gonna do this. This here. Take this down. Make it go to the center one. Which clearance and everything should look fine. Make this one go up to this. Needs to make a Huey. So. Yes. No. <laughs> Why? Clearance. Oh, uh, it's this. The splitter is actually the clearance issue. Should be solved by that. Yes. This. this is insane. We have three. That's exactly what we need. Three and then the pipe, right? Wait, what? Pipe. We're not using this one yet. Two. Off to the races. So, I feel like this wouldn't be here, but, so let me finish it, so it's out of the way. Um, splitter. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, we're fine. Now, we just need something that's going to aim up there. Oh, let's try again. Way. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know about that. So maybe we do side by side. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if they can all make the grade. Encroaches the clearance of this thing. That's what I was trying to avoid. All right. Uh, 
fine, it's fine. We'll just... Up on the rock. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. Actually, let me do this. Um. Pipes need to go where? Down here, I'm thinking for the stutter pipes and wire. Oh, the wire needs to be split because I have them paired up. That's right. I don't know if there's enough room in that room though. <laughs> Everything needs to be split all the time. Almost. something Spider. Everything should at least be split once, guarantee, or at least go through a splitter once, because I would want the production of whatever is pr being produced being done in pairs, whether it's, whether it's assembler or constructor, always paired. So, that goes in there to be split. That's where these other walls come into play. And then so because there's no clearance on this side, it would need to be this one. So I'm gonna just make these kind of already spacing that out so that I can put another splitter. <laughs> Oh, why is that not? 
Oh, you know what it is? It's this thing again. Or two, three, one. Um, this kind of has a potential for it, but it's not needed now. Now we need to figure out how to split this one. Oh god, don't have me stuck. Am I trapped? No. Actually, maybe. Yes, I am trapped. I think I have to get rid of this anyways. To get the splitter spacing corrected. This one, I think, is one of those things that needs to be split. Kind of like this one, is split three times. I feel like this is also one that gets split three times for other recipes, if not the one that we're currently using. So this one was on one block. It had to be split three times. It needed the space of a three by three or three by two. So let me see. If I do it like this, because I can also go out this door side too for any other sorting that can be done here. The thing is, this room is too small. I would have to, I guess, venture into here, into the grass. This is a tall item, so it's going to look weird if I don't. This is so clutch. my god it's so beautiful this is so claustrophobic but the fact that it works right now brings a tear to my eye like imagine coming down here in full production and everything is just it's just moving in a beautiful orchestrated Orgy of and see everything in here is still correct. Let's 
goes through. Everything is still correct. Beautiful. I should probably be able to weigh up some of that, but once I have it made, I don't have to ever really address it again. Until I, once I want to split again, then if I need another, if I need another bar split, I'd have to just do it on site because there's no space in there. So okay. Do, do, do. One. needs to be spent, I forget. Um, there's literally no room for me to force it through. Get it out that wall. I think I feel like maybe I can do it, but if I did, it would all it would be clipping like <laughs> through a bunch of crap like crazy. So let me do this. Let me. I hate how it doesn't like the seam. Especially when you can just delete it out from under it and it floats anyways. So why, so why, why the seam phobia? So I think I messed up by having everything go out this corner. I was trying to get it as close to where it needed to go as possible. Well, I should have actually put it at that corner. So then I can have this fish around and hit one of these walls. So now the question is, do I shift everything over? For the sake of this. Feel like I got the Where does it attach to it? The middle? Why is it snapping to it now? It really wasn't snapping to it before. Oh, because the, uh, the ground is in the way over here. to reorganize.
Uh, pipes top to this one bottom, this one bottom. This wait. How much if I just do all of it one? So it would be all pipes, all copper, all like three, all three too. <laughs> oh my god. So basically this. Three, three, and then as I need recipes, the first step I just come and get them accordingly. Is that, is that gonna clip too much? A little bit. Can I move it over one? Center, I'm gonna move it over this. Should even lower it enough? Looks like barely. Scrape. It's fine. It's fine. How could I? Fix this. I have to keep moving the moving this. So I can keep moving it. A little bit more. Over? No, because of that. 
assume to have that tight clearance. Actually, I probably can move this. Needs to go over one. Maybe move it up. That still works. Actually, no, this is... Should be going... Here. Noise. I might actually fix my issue with how tight this was. Nope. Can I build? So I can build this on the same. Okay, whatever game. <laughs> I can build this on the same. That's all that's necessary. If it doesn't want to automatically do it, you have to manually do it. Um, actually, why isn't this just straight? I didn't want the grass poking through like that, maybe? I don't know. Oh yeah, I need to clear this too. Oh wait, so it's one, two, wait, that's that, right? Unless, just can go straight up to it, it's even better.
I like how you have to press it twice. Everything in the game you press once, but this requires a double click. It's a small thing, but oh, wait, no, that was dead end. In a minute. Um... Freaking ground. How do I? Push this through so we can push this stuff over. It seems small and insignificant, but in actuality. It might make all the difference here. in hot oh it doesn't it's because of this thing this connection oh no oh no so much so much clipping all at once why did I not say this because it's mayhem in here maybe do I allow it everything else cl the clearance is good Maybe if I change the order. This though can't. This cannot stand. If I change the order by making this go down at the 
Oh wait, making this go down? Silly, but so. let's see. Let's see. Uh, this should go here. Fishes through here. Pushing it. Yeah. I need to have it come in from a high angle. Which is why having it come from here made sense. Get it that high. It's starting to melt my brain. I can make this work actually. I just have to do this. That was my first thing. So that clears up all this side. 
I have this though to fish through. Oh no. Depending on where I can put this. Go there. This to this, this to this, I trapped. Do it. <laughs> we did it. Three wire, three um, rods, three pipe. This one can be here. So tired. Um, this should probably go. Here, so these lower profile things go down here. Oh god! How can how can anything hit that one? It doesn't. It doesn't need to. Interesting. That's actually the first time I used it. I used the edge where you can walk and it's technically not a conveyor belt as a platform to build. That probably would have made all of this a lot <laughs> a lot easier if I just took that into account. Oh my god. Whatever, I'm done. So tired. And then a third. A third. Of course you can clip through this wall. Um, I think we can actually move this over. Or at least that's the dream. Since if this was here, it 
it's over. All right, Splitter, you and me. official. So I could just been placing this all on this. Tight. It's toit. Toit like a toiker. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Yes. Oh, it's hitting it. It's hitting it still. Um, can this go back? A sculch. Is that the... Very much wow. Nope. Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. We did it. Three. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three, all of it sorted and split within this confined area with no clipping of the items, of the belts, all legit. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. You see, that's why I have trust issues. I can fix this. It can be remedied. Oh my God. Can you manage that? Yes. Launching me. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> no clipping of the tracks. It's tight here at the end, but I feel like that's negligible. The amount of effort I put into making this look legit is worth just saying yeah there's no clipping i guess here but that can technically be avoided by moving this moving it to the lowest point Beautiful. 
technically this would clip if it was anything other than what it is but then like i said like with that i could remedy it immediately immediate remedy so that everything's interchangeable um put this at the lowest point So that even if even if these were as tall as those it would make the clearance okay where am I putting this it actually probably fits into this slot better it's a little tight here so it would clip if it hit this but that would just require, require a little bit more fishing items back on the back end. Pushing these further back. We did it. Mission complete. Let me do this. Also. Why is this even here? Actually, this is in the way. If that wasn't in the way, this would be a whole different story. Okay. 
Take me. All right. Like it'd be easier if all right, all right, all right. Overcomplicating things. Tidy gets right there for a second. Actually, Okay. I know. Finger runs Over here. Thank you. 
anything so high. No, I don't like it. This to here, this here. This. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Jason? I am tired, but I can't stop until I get this production line running, and I can I can literally leave the game on so that I can produce what I need. Um, how you doing? Hopefully you've been having a good week. Let's see what I want to put those. Here, ah, oh, ran out of sheets. I do not have sheet. Sekiro. Yeah, I heard it's. I heard it's rough, or I heard it's tough. Which I guess can wait to rough. Made some good progress. That's good. Is it like? Uh, I heard it's kind of like Dark Souls, but with more moves and stuff. So it's compli more complicated. Makes me think of. Does make me think of? Um, what's that one game? The old game with the ninja. People from Dark Souls made it. Coke, 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 Coke. Uh, this that, that, that. Yes. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God. So this is going to make... It's hard but rewarding. You really have to play attention. Know your attacks, dodge, and deflect. Sometimes one or two hits is all it takes to kill. Many of us, if you're not careful. Yes. Hmm. I'm worried now. I was I was firmly in the camp of yeah. I'm a, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick it up and play it. But now, 
Not by your description, but just like thinking about it over time. Like how frustrated uh, am I going to get? I guess it depends. Because I, I enjoyed the first Dark Souls. I want to say I beat it twice. Second one, never made it through. Third one, never touched. And I'm hoping that the refreshing gameplay and maybe the different setting and story can help with this, this game. Help set it apart for me. Okay. Now we need power. Here we need power. Um, how are we going to do this? Because you play games like that, you're like it. This is one before. Okay, so it's right up there. That's cool. Power, power, power. I'm trying to stay focused. My brain is melting because of this. Oh God, I designed this whole, whole thing. It's all symmetrical and beautiful. And it can be replicated and they, mer they merge perfectly here to have four different items. So in my mind, I need to always split these up two, two times because I want to have paired construction. But then I was like, why stop at two when I could throw, split them up to three? So I created this whole mess where nothing is clipping. All the clearances are legit for the products. Because these, the, the conveyor belts can clip and the items can clip. But I made it so that nothing's actually clipping. Nothing's going through. <laughs> and I made this. So my brain is just, my, I'm done. <laughs> my brain's done. It's like no more. It is multiplayer, but I'd be, I feel like I'd be way too much of a control freak. I wouldn't say anything. Like if I was playing with somebody, it would be just like building, having a good time. But in, inside, I'd be like, this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I need to redo all of this. Like, I never would have made my storage solution if I had somebody else kind of like tagging along, or if I was with somebody else who was I was ta I was the one ta doing the tag along. Everything else kind of would have probably like all this. The way it turns into chaos when it's not in symmetry, I feel like. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can take some pictures and and post it. I feel like I'm I'm proud of it. I wanna I wanna set my uh, I wanna make my mark as one of the one of the people that picked this game up early on and kind of went full on OCD with some of the builds like this. Like I don't have to touch it or change anything about its design, and it can scale upward into infinity. It, would, it requires a lot of maintenance when you do make those upgrades upward, but uh, yeah, um, wait, what am I doing now? Power, power. Focus here. I wonder if I could put a power on one of these.
That would be actually pretty cool if I could. Be pretty sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the center is here. What's the point of the game? To be the biggest, baddest producing production assembly. It's kind of like Minecraft in the sense that it is what you make it. But at least this has, like this, this is a space elevator and it has a terminal on it where it wants certain products. So it's my job to make those. And uh, I have half of the order fulfilled and this assembly will fulfill the, the other half. And then while I'm doing that, in the back of my mind, I'm trying, I'm doing stuff like this, where even though I'm, even though I'm producing for this, I'm going to be stockpiling everything else so that on a moment's notice, I can switch up production. And then in theory, I wouldn't, I wouldn't switch up production. I would just add another layer to this. So this is specifically tuned to something. And then I'd have another layer or put splitters on these conveyor belts. So if it produces something for this machine, it'll actually send another one off to be stockpiled. And like micromanaging that is part of my, what? The animals, uh, that thing, I'm not sure yet. That might be a ball. <laughs> that might be an end game thing once you reach like a certain level. I don't know, but there are little creatures that you can run into that'll uh, run at you, spit at you, puff poison at you. Power. Let me put it on top of here. It would make my life so much easier. Okay, let's do this then. Mark two pole. What do I need for it? Speed wire. <sighs> Ouch. If it is called outward. On the twenty six. Outward. I'll make a note, literal sticky note, outward. It doesn't ring any bells. But I'll look it up. Okay. What am I doing? I think I have speed wire. Yep, I have a PS4. I have a little bit of speed wire. Just a little bit. Let me dump the wood in here. Because this is part of my biofuel mini assembly. And have the ore for more speed wire and two Ooh. okay wait I need to make two of these I have everything for it co-op yeah, I'll check it out. See what kind of see what kind of game it is. I need a, I need a good co-op game. Back in the day, I think my go-to, my old old school go-to co-op was. Uh, Left for Dead. 
That was my jam. And then... And then I guess Borderlands 2 did it well. Missing cable. But I never, I didn't like, I didn't, the only thing I didn't like about, um, what I didn't like, of, ah, what I didn't like about Borderlands is the way it handled your progression. Because the next thing I know, I'm in somebody else's game and they're, Basically, at the end, I was like, wait a minute, what? And then I was like, ah, oh, I skipped like half the game. Oh, well. And I never went back to kind of finish it off. Like, I, the way you're supposed to, I guess, is uh, jump in and only ever jump into your own game until you get through the story and then go back and, like, just jump into other people's games. In hindsight, that's obvious, <laughs> But I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna feel like I'll play with some other somebody else. Oh wait, what? This is the boss. We we beat the boss. Oh, okay. All right. There's there's that. Cable. Cable. It was cute. Yeah, it was like quirky. Quirky, cute. I guess that works too. <laughs> Little looter, looter shooters as they're known now. You know what? I th when people talk about looter shooters, I kind of think, I think back to uh, Diablo actually. Diablo 3. I'd be like, I guess that's the last one I played, but I guess Borderlands would be the one. God, here we go. How old was I when I first played and started playing? Like, uh, Element elementary like like Mario? Duck hunt? When what was when were those? That was the first. And then there was like there was the side scrolling X Men games and back then I thought ahead to the point of where Spider Man is now. That's how that's how long I've been waiting for the current the current generation of uh, video games to have to be where Spider-Man is. I was like, this could be a 3D and you could be swinging around and like, like even when Nintendo 64 came out and they were kind of doing it with like the Superman, I was like, this isn't it. This we're not there yet. I'm surprised. I'm so surprised that my power grid hasn't shut down. Where are we at? Where are we compared to, we have room. Oh wait, these don't even, oh wait, these can just go straight into this. What's wrong? They're about too long. It's too steep. I almost got it. Almost there. Almost there, guys. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm reading. 
I'm like reading through your... How old were you when you first started playing my games? Could you give me a school time frame? I'm guessing your age. I don't remember. That's all I was saying. Whatever, whatever years they came out, or um, I don't know. What is the what is the age or Alexa? When did the Nintendo Entertainment System release? The Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, was released in 1985 and sold over 60 million units before being phased out in 1995. The system transformed and restored okay, the video Alexa, game industry world. Alexa, stop. Um, that, I was not one year old. <laughs> I was not one year old when... Uh, so I have to think about what came out. What's a game that came out? What would have been brand speaking new? See, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have Alexa wired into my audio so you guys hear as clear. As clear as day. Um, what came out? What was brand new? Alexa. When was Super Mario Brothers 3 released? Super Mario Brothers 3 was released on October 23rd, 1988. Thank you. You're welcome. That doesn't seem right either. I don't know. Commodore 64. Yeah, I never... I want to say I played an Atari before. What's wrong with this? Why isn't this connecting? This one can connect. Is there something in the way of this? No. Oh, this. Get out of here. I don't want to do this. Do this. <sighs> we did it. We got our production line rolling. And these things are actually pumping out pretty quickly. A reinforced plate take forever. So this doesn't have to be this tall. Is this? <sighs> That's how particular I'm being right now. So petty. I almost deleted the space elevator. Still trying to think of the answer, though. When were, how old was I? I first started. The first games I remember is the, the Super Mario, Duck Hunt, Nintendo games, but obviously, I don't know. How old was I in third grade? How old are you typically in third grade? Whatever age that is. <laughs> Alexa, how old are you in the third grade? Sorry. I'm not sure about that. What age do you 
entered the third grade. I don't know how to frame the question. Hmm. I don't know that one. <laughs> how old do you have to be to attend the third grade in the United States? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Fine. Never mind. Obviously something Googleable, but she doesn't know how to. She doesn't know understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, time to do picture mode, and then call it a night. So this would look good if these were all going down here. They would truly be symmetrical. It's like... The symmetry is borderland or borderland. Borderline. Uh, psychopathic. Like, how am I supposed to now? I guess I can move over this coil one in a little bit more so these can squeeze by and get sorted over here. But if it took me this much space to sort four into uh, what is it? No. Yeah, 12. To sort four Four conveyor belts into 12 took me this much space. So if I have four on this side, I would need another. I would need to fish them around to this side and then just do it all over here. FOV, large and in charge. I feel like for symmetry, there's no ramp there. <laughs> there's no ramp there, but for symmetry. Um, is that just too much distortion? It's too much yet. I can't tell. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Maybe I just need to be up a little more. Um, good improv ladder. There's nothing on these these lines though, so they're empty. I guess the symmetry rings true regardless. Um Is this is this shot symmetrical? I can't really tell. Kinda feels like it is. 
Like if you reference the windows and the doors on the side of the screen. It's probably about as close as I'm gonna get. Good. Probably a higher one. For really to really appreciate some other aspects. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Post this on the Steam forum, even though it's exclusive to a. Uh, to uh, Epic Games, and Epic Games doesn't have a community <laughs> community forums on their in on their what is it platform, whatever. See, the outside being sheer chaos kind of messes it up. Yeah, but it's on high res. Now, can I get it all in one shot and have a good composition? Ah, come on, just a little more. That was actually pretty good. Isn't that great? Like here, with the thing over there, like it's filling up the empty space there, would have been perfect. Um, let me try it from the other end, because there's less chaos behind the scenes if I point the other direction. Let's see, let's do the same. They're faster, baby. I might be a little close. Um, but the cool thing about doing it on this platform, though, is that everything snaps, so I'm, I know I'm at least standing at the center, versus if I'm out here, it's who knows? Frickin' ladders and first person shooters. Okay, can I delete these without accidentally deleting something else in the background? Anti gravity sticks. It's like. Yeah, that's the one thing. The uh, floating things float if you delete anything under it. But I don't know a, what an easy or quick fix for that would be. Is a thing. So what I'm gonna do is send this out this way. This here. Keep building higher.
Oof. That's been kind of like legit um, fear of heights in the game. See, that's not that's a nicer that's a nicer background, right? I may be too high, but that's okay. I can kite in the field of view. I feel like I actually need to be further back to really appreciate. Because I want the shots of the lines coming in, but then how, and how they're kind of not as organized as the interior. So it kind of, it's like a good, it's a good contrast to include some of the chaos, but not too much. Or is it, oh, it's gonna come, back, come around. I feel like I should be lower for a shot. I feel like I'm actually taller than it at this pool level. Put your hands away. Ugh. He's ruining the shot with his hands. Oh God. Well. again. I feel like I should be further back a pinch. You know, I don't have the same references to, to get my sense of symmetry. Oh wait, my monitor actually has a crosshair. Okay, this is center, whether it looks like it or not. It really doesn't. <laughs> it looks like I'm tilted slightly. And I guess I could be because I, I might not be perfectly centered on this uh, ladder. I can get the fish, if I can get this thing centered, okay. Now I just need to move perfectly forward. See, this is, I'm, I'm being this much of a perfectionist on just taking this shot. Just imagine. Try to relink, <laughs> trying to relinquish some of my control over to somebody and collaborating on a build. So, hey man, you mind if I just put this stuff right here? I'm just gonna build this like just like this. It's this will fine. This this will work, right? But like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my teeth cracking. That's fine. That's amazing. Yeah, good job. No, I'm not that. I'd I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate. I'd appreciate the experience, the shared experience. But I would I would die a little inside. Thinking about how how it could be different. What could have been? The build that could have been. Let's see if we can get the mountains. We wait for the sunset. Here comes our little truck. I was thinking about putting more trucks on that route. As if we're going through coal all that fast.
think about the composition. Acceptable amount of distortion for the. Um, if I built the ramp in the middle to look down, I guess that's what I should do right there. I should just went higher and higher. Ooh. I think I'd die from this fall. <laughs> I'm not falling, I'm climbing with my forehead. <laughs> ping, 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 ping. Okay. Um, 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 um. Forgetting the buttons. As long as I've, as, as long as I've, as long as I've, as long as I've, as long as I've played, you think I'd kind of have it locked in. Obviously, I'm tired. 4.43. I'm just surprised my power is holding. I guess that's what I work on next time. Just to make sure my... The next... The future of my build... Holds out. Let's go for the world record. That guy looks cool when he's done fast. When the when then when a space elevator's convergence meets the ladder that <laughs> Oh god. The ladder that you just made. I wonder if you could build your way up to where all this is. Oh! The vertigo. Oof. Oh! <laughs> I thought I overstepped. Uh, photo mode. I don't like that it's turning nighttime now. It was daytime. Even though light time, nighttime lighting isn't terrible, it's like this purple. Um, yeah, much better at daytime. Even though sometimes the shadow that the sun can cast from like wherever you're standing, it's like, oh, look at this. But then there's this streaking shadow going across the whole thing. See, this hole would look cool if it was just a little bit brighter out here. Is that a cloud? Is that like a little dude cloud that just went by? <laughs> At least it feels more like I am getting a true center. See, this reminds me of uh, shots of the game Factorio, I want to say it's called. Factorio or Factory IO. That's probably what it is, I think, actually. I 
think this is a good stopping point. I think I might actually just keep like chilling afterwards. Number one, to make sure this production is still pumping into this elevator. And number two, for daylight, so I can get some daylight shots. So I don't want to have to have you guys wait around for that. So I will peace out finally. Let's get the. Oh. Go. Thanks guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thanks for being patient with me playing this game if it hasn't been your cup of tea. But uh I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. It's chill, it's relaxing, it's soothing. I keep comparing it to Zen Garden, but with conveyor belts and production quotas. <laughs> so you know, that's the thing. Um, that's what I've been, that's what I'm into right now. Uh, I will try, I don't like, I don't typically like this stream just like one game for an entire week. Especially m multiple weeks. So, just to switch things up, just so I don't play this out and get sick of it and tired of it. Because that's what I don't want. I want to like, keep enjoying it. Um, I'll try to play something else. I think I'll play, uh... The Shadow that dies, dies twice game. Good night, Jason. You should probably get some sick too, right? I don't know what your schedule's like. Uh, but yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Siki, Siki Road? I don't know how it's pronounced. Siki Road. Shadows die twice, I think. Because I have, I have some funds in my Steam wallet, so might as well just get it right. I don't think there's anything else I'm looking forward to in Steam off the top of my head. Outward. Yeah, I'll look up Outward. But I'm out. Maybe I'll stream more. I'm probably going to be wrecked for a, a Saturday night stream. Um, and I just need to recoup and situate myself for next week on Sundays. So I'll probably just see you guys next week. I'm out. Peace.